It happened. I finally read Harry Potter. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with my Bout of Books 19.0 readathon wrap up. I read the four books that I was planning to read for my TBR. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I completed was The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman and I really didn't like this book. I know so many people love it but it just something about it was not for me. I think that the pacing was super slow and I just couldn't get into it. I think I just wasn't analyzing it the way other people do. And they're all like, this means this, and this is what he meant by this, and I was just like, it's boring. The book follows a middle-aged man returning to his hometown to attend a funeral. He ends up at the house of his childhood friend named Letty Hempstock, who moved away to Australia when they were younger. Letty's grandmother allows him to go to the back of the house and sit by the pond, which Letty used to call her ocean, and that's when he starts to recall his childhood at the age of seven. And that's basically the whole story is just him reliving his childhood, and I just, I didn't like it. I'm sorry, I know so many people love this book, but like, unpopular opinion. But I'm still, like, in love with the cover, so I'm like so sad I didn't like it. I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. The second book I read for this readathon is Perfect by Ellen Hopkins. This is my seventh Ellen Hopkins book. I love her so much. I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. This book follows four teenagers who are all striving for their definition of perfect. Kara's parents are very controlling, which led her twin brother Connor to try to commit suicide. Kara ends up discovering something about herself that she didn't realize until now, and she doesn't know how she's going to be the person her parents want her to be anymore. Kendra wants to be a runway model, but how far will she go to meet this goal? Sean wants to play baseball for Stanford University and live a happy life with Kara and he's not going to stop until it happens and then Andre has a dream but he doesn't know if his parents would approve of it. I really enjoy this book. I find Ellen Hopkins writing amazing. It's both beautiful and dark at the same time and I just love everything that she writes. I love the verse that she writes in and I find it so easy to read and I devour her books in like two days or one day every time because it's just so enthralling to me. It's enthralling a word, I think. I'm not sure. This is the companion novel to her book Impulse, so it ties characters from that book into this one, which I thought was done so well. The ending of the book really brought both stories together. I really liked Kara's character and how she really came into herself at the end. I hated Sean and I want to punch him in the face so badly. I, ugh, I hated him. Kendra just made me want to hug her all the time, and I hate not knowing what actually happened to her. Her story is kind of just left hanging, so kind of sad that we don't get to know what happens, but she's such a great character anyways. Andre was by far my favorite character. I thought he was the most developed, and he grew the most, and I just loved everything about him. He was so cute. Then the third book I read for this readathon was The Last Sacrifice by Michelle Mead. This is the sixth and final book in the Vampire Academy series. So I'm proud to say I finally finished Vampire Academy. A round of applause for me. I would clap, but like, I have a book in my hand. I really liked the series. I didn't think that I would like it as much as I did. I ended up giving this one a four out of five stars on Goodreads. I don't want to give a synopsis because, you know, like, it's the sixth book in a series and like that would literally give away the entire series if I did. I'm so sad that the series is over. I love all the characters and the world so much and the one complaint I have is Rose and how she treated Adrian. He deserves so much better. I just I love Adrian. I just love him so much and I'm so mad at Rose. That's like my one complaint. And then my fourth and final book is the one that I loved so much. I don't know why I waited so long to read this series, probably because it was so overhyped and everybody's obsessed with it, but I finally did it and I totally understand the hype now. I know you're all going to be in the comments being like, we told you so, and you know what, you're right, okay? Congratulations, pat yourself on the back, whatever. The book is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It is not called The Sorcerer's Stone, I found that out, but I, I have like a full reaction video of me reading it for the first time at 21 years old. I know, it's ridiculous. But if you want to check that out, it's, it's up there, so, you know, watch my reaction. But I love this book. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Don't need to give a synopsis because, like, Harry Potter. I literally only had this book, so I ran to the thrift store as soon as I finished it and got the next three books because that's all they had. So, definitely going to start reading those. If you guys want reaction videos for those two, let me know down below. But, yeah. I'm on the Harry Potter bandwagon now, 100%. Alright guys, so that was my bout of books 19.0 wrap up. I read a total of four books. I probably could have gotten another one done, but like I got the four done and I was like, I don't care anymore. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!